Hey guys, it's Ashley Stork with Stella and Dot, and I am going to share with you my style of the day. Sorry, it's been all week, um, just been crazy with trunk shows and my full-time job, so um, this has been my first style of the day video, and I'm sorry about the dogs barking in the background. Those are my crazy animals. So today it's um, a beautiful 80 degrees here, and so I kind of wanted to mix a little fall with a little spring still, so... Um, I just have on a black t-shirt and a skirt, and I had on a sweater earlier, but I got hot. And so, um, I'm wearing an oldie but a goodie, the Revival Tassel Necklace, which you can see has four Pave handset beads. This is like a dark black. This is a hematite with a hematite colored stone. This is a gold with a gold stone. I need to paint my nails, don't I? And then this is a hematite with a clear crystal stone. And then you've got this heavy hematite chain on the bottom with the beautiful ivory bead. This is a Maya Brenner design. She um, is a beautiful celebrity stylist and designer, and she designs gorgeous jewelry, but she also designs exclusive pieces for just Stella and Dot. So I want to show you how it hangs. So you can see. It's long. Um, it has been in, in style a few times uh, in the spring and um, even in the summer. So it's a real versatile piece. You can wear it any time of the year. And um, for me, it's an oldie but a goodie. I love it. So I'm doing the Devi hoop in gold, which also comes in a silver. You've got these stones that go around. Hoops are real important for your jewelry wardrobe. Every woman should own a good pair of hoops. Okay, so as you know, I love to stack my bracelets and the sparklier the better in my opinion. So I'm going all out today. I've done the vintage twist in the silver and gold, the prosper bracelet, bracelet blah, 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 with the um, gold beads that mimic the beads in my necklace. And then I've done the vintage twist in the silver and then I've done the Prosper, uh, not the Prosper, the Revival bracelet to match my necklace. Then I'm finishing my jewelry off, whoop, there it is, with the Soiree ring. I think I've shown this guy to you guys before, but I just love it with all this. Go big or go home, right? Sparklier the better. And then the adjuster is on the inside, so it looks like a fine piece of jewelry, which of course it is, but you don't have that adjuster thing on the back, pinching your finger or appearing like it's not something of real quality. So I love that you don't, um, you don't get that thing on there. And then of course, I am finishing my look off with the gorgeous Waverly bag. Look at that beautiful leather. So beautiful. I, today, I usually have been wearing mine um, like big like this with the chain at the top, but today I decided to go for a different look and I folded over folded it over and still wore it long. So I just want to show you what that looks like. Let's see. It's so gorgeous. Look at that beautiful jewelry detail on the end. And I did a little bit of shopping today and the men at the Chanel jewelry uh, makeup counter told me I looked very Chanel today in my outfit. So I thought that was quite the compliment. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed my style of the day. And if there's something you want to see, please leave a comment or tell me on my Facebook page. I definitely want to show you guys looks that you are interested in and show you the jewelry that you want to see on somebody because I know that makes a difference. Um, it makes a difference to me to see it on somebody, what somebody else has paired it with. So let me know what you want to see in person. Okay, guys, have a great weekend. Talk to you later. Bye.